Here we're going to take a look at something that's a little bit more complicated. The same old equation, we have methane uh, with oxygen, there's a combustion reaction, we end up with carbon dioxide and water, and the equation is already balanced for us, but here they're telling us that we're starting with 89 grams of oxygen and that there's unlimited methane involved, so there's no limitation at all anywhere. And they want to know how many grams of carbon dioxide are produced. So in this case, they gave us the number of grams of one of the uh, reactants and they want to know the number of grams of one of the products which means we have to go through a three-step process first we take the mass of the reactants and convert it to the number of moles of the reactants then we convert the number of moles of the reactant to the number of moles of the product and then we take the number of moles of the product and convert it to the mass of the product so a three-step process step number one we're given the number of grams of carbon dioxide and we want to know oh no number of grams of oxygen and we want to know how many moles of oxygen do we have? So that's the first step right there. So number of moles of oxygen is equal to, and what we do there is we take the number of grams, so the, we take the number of grams of oxygen and divided by the number of grams of oxygen per mole of oxygen. And of course, then the number of grams of oxygen cancels out, and we're left with the number of moles of oxygen, which is what we're looking for. So it's a simple ratio. So this is equal to 89 grams. And we divide that by the number of grams per mole. Now, how many moles of uh, oxygen go in, how many grams of oxygen go into a mole of oxygen? Well, oxygen is a diatomic molecule. Each atom has a mass of 16 grams, so two of them will be a, a mass of 32 grams. So it would be 32 grams per mole of oxygen. Remember, 16 grams per mole of a single oxygen atom, and therefore, since oxygen is a diatomic molecule, the grams for oxygen would be 32 grams, twice as much. So that tells us the number of moles. So we get 89 divided by 32, and we end up with 2.78 moles. 2.78 moles of oxygen, which of course is one of the reactants, the one that is limiting the reaction because we have an unlimited amount of methane. So the second step is to take the number of moles of reactants and turn it into the number of moles of products. That will depend upon the ratio of how many moles of the reactants we have and how many moles of the products. Notice for every two moles of oxygen, we end up with one mole of carbon dioxide. So we only will have half the number of carbon dioxide moles as we have oxygen moles. So step two, the, the number, oh yeah, that's right. So this should be the number of, nice little catch, of grams of oxygen. There you go, thank you. So now we need the number of moles of the product we end up with, which is CO2, which will depend on the number of moles of the reactant of O2, and now multiply it times the ratio of the number of moles of the carbon dioxide versus the number of moles of oxygen. So in this case, it will be a one to two ratio. So this is equal to, we ended up with 2.78 moles of O2, and then we multiply that times one divided by two, and that will give us the number of moles of carbon dioxide because it's a ratio of one to two. So divide this by two, and we get 1.39 moles of carbon dioxide. Half as many moles of carbon dioxide as the number of oxygen moles that we end up, that we started with. All right, now we need to convert this to the number of grams of carbon dioxide. So step three, we need the number of grams of grams of CO2. And how do we figure that out? Well, we start with the number of moles and then we multiply that times the grams per mole, right? So the number of moles of CO2 and multiply it times the number of grams per mole of CO2. All right, so for every mole we have that many grams. So we start out with 1.39 moles of CO2 and then we multiply it times the number of grams per mole. So how many grams do we have in a mole of CO2? So C has a mass of 12.01 grams. We're just going to uh, round it off to 12 grams. And O has a mass of 16 grams. 
means two O's has a mass of 32 grams. And so since we have one carbon and two oxygens together, 12 plus 32 is 44 grams per mole. So each mole of carbon dioxide has a mass of 44 grams. So we multiply this times 44 grams uh, of CO2 per mole of CO2. And of course, the mole of CO2 and the mole of CO2 cancels out, and we end up with this times this number of grams of CO2. So multiply this times 44, and we get 61.2, 61.2 grams of CO2. And that's how we go through that process. So it's a three-step process. We were given the number of grams of oxygen, which is the limiting um, reactant that we started with. Couldn't think of the word reactant, the, the limiting reactant. The other one was unlimited. So we convert the number of moles, we convert the number of grams of the reactant to the number of moles of the reactant. Then we take the number of moles of the reactant, convert that to the number of moles of the product. And then we take the number of moles of the product and convert it to the number of grams of the product. And that's how you do a problem like that.